Yeah. What up, Lou? What up? Man, I had to do. Uh, what up, Courtney? What up, Patrick? What up? Do I look uh, blurry to y'all, or am I am I am I cri like crispy? You it started now. dark and it like really slowly got to where it needed yeah. to be. Yeah, what it was like the opening of a, of a video or something. Yeah. <laughs> it literally started like a movie. <laughs> <laughs> I, didn't I don't know. This is off thing. of the the laptop. I'm on my my gaming computer. Mm. You have lighting. Yeah, I have a ring light. Yeah, Should I turn like it, it up? No, no, it's no, working it really good. well. It, it no, faded looked, in. I've just never yeah. seen that before. Oh, I yeah, meant nice. to do that. Like, oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> you, oh, you mean the usual? Yeah. <laughs> Star studdedness? Courtney, hey, what you got written it? behind there? Uh, to hear, what time are you cooking? Schedule. That's your ideas? Yeah, and my schedule. Like, I got to stay on track anymore. I can't. I can't be putting shit in my phone because then I'll just like go to Instagram. That's Wait, actually a good dot on the wall. That's glass, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's real. Like, what's that movie? Mind of a beautiful mind. Twenty yeah. three. <laughs> Y'all seen yeah, twenty three also... for Jim Carrey? <laughs> no, I didn't see that. Really? Or, or the accountant with Ben Affleck? The accountant he... I saw. He was going crazy with those. Remember when he did that all over the room? Mm -hmm. That's Low key, Courtney, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to jack that idea. I'm gonna go to Home Depot today and see if I get some plexiglass and just put it on my door. Cause I was trying to look for a place to put my uh another dry erase board, but yeah. that's even better. I could put the more important stuff up top, upcoming yep. stuff right there, and then stuff I got three months to get done, put that at the bottom. That's a great idea. Yeah, because I got a whiteboard like as big as her whole wall. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. But I fill it up with shit and then don't erase it because I'm like, oh, I need that. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't do any of this stuff? <laughs> I have a little chalkboard that's like that. And I was like, damn, I've had the same to-do list for weeks. <laughs> <laughs> My to-do list has not changed. I gotta, I gotta dig into organized. this. You have to do your to-do list, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I said that today. I, I looked at it, I was like, man, I gotta do this shit, huh? Like, you gotta really implement it now. This is Y'all ever get tired of y'all ever get tired of adulting? You just be like, man, I want to just yo this shit ghetto time. every day. It's the biggest trick in the world, bro. That's the biggest bait and switch ever yeah. was turning into an adult. And I found that uh, not adulting during the weekends really helps. Mm -hmm. I do like that. Monday Monday through Friday, I do like everything I need to do, and then Saturday Sunday, I just kind of like <sighs> I know. clock out. Mm -hmm. I don't answer emails. I don't answer. I don't even want to. I want to talk to nobody. I'll be still answering the emails. I'm not going to front. I can Because, you know, in, in our line, like, if you were in a different line of work, that might be possible. But in our line of work, you'll get an audition on the weekend. You'll get a booking on the weekend. You'll get an inquiry really? about yes, if you're available. Yeah. Listen, this is so how this should work. If, if I miss the email, then my agent will text me. And they would be like, hey, you get that email? If it's important mm -hmm. enough, somebody will hit you Exactly. Yeah. If, if it's important enough, you're going to find me. You know, like, it's going to happen. Um, but that's the thing. You got to break it down a little bit. Because if not, you'd be so consumed with work. Like, you could never just take a me day. And that shit is important, man. Well, hell yeah. Especially, like, giving so much of yourself out. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. As an entertainer? Like, always... Uh -huh. Always giving, giving, giving. You know my my pamper days. I be I be tricking on myself. I'm going. What's your pamper cold. day to here? It's not going, a trickery hat. Look, it's all the listen. Trickery. I be tricking on. I be big tricking. I'm a hoe myself. I, I'm I'm going to get my nails and toes done. A hammer and nails. Period. You go to Costco you go to the and pick out your very own fat back. <laughs> yes, man. Someone, someone said she went to Costco. That's why you went to Costco. You loaded I'm a up hoe here. for the day. I'm going, to, I'm going to get a haircut. I'm get going your daily shopping. supplies. Take, taking myself to get something good to eat. Use the estate. I go to Fleming's if I ain't trying to go crazy. If I'm trying to go crazy, I go to my favorite steakhouse. I'm, I'm going to I'm buy a pair of shoes or something. You know what I'm saying? Make myself feel good. Okay, like so how do you order your steak? This is medium, a medium plus. Medium who? Medium hey, plus. That's that uh that's that exclusive. I like medium that medium plus. plus. Yeah, medium plus is good. It's it's mm -hmm. it's still juicy enough to where you get a little red when you're cutting through the meat and yeah. then you see the red in the meat. It mm -hmm. doesn't take away from the marble, but it's also like cooked. You, nice. you make your own steak? 
You cook your own steak? No, no, no. I don't do that anymore. I mean, I can if I want to, but if I want it done, like, it's certain places, like, I love the taste of Fleming's um, just Caesar salad. And if I'm going to have the Caesar salad, I'm going to get a steak, too. So I'm just going to I'm just gonna go there. That's my that's my favorite place for the Caesar salad. Oh, you feel me, Patrick? <laughs> I knew y'all was going to do that because y'all childish. We were trying to have a real moment. No, there was, like, to... a couple of times I just muted my mic. I was just like... <laughs> <laughs> Why did I keep sipping gonna, this coffee? I'm not gonna like, do it. You know if you see what? me do this, it means I'm not gonna say nothing. And if I do say it, it's still gonna not hit. Yeah, I don't want to hear shit from you because you're 30 minutes late because your punk ass well, kids can't leave your laptop alone. Now you now you're looking yeah. at you all on the I, phone. We can't even hear you. You can't talk while nobody talking. Look, I went up and down this house for like a good 15 minutes. I don't like I don't know where my laptop is, y'all. And I keep doing your like phone? A, device it's they here really took your laptop i don't know where it is what the hell i legit don't know where it is and so i don't have time to beat nobody so i was like okay you know what i'm gonna just have to get on my phone to do this how much time do you need to beat somebody like the next what's time the what's the minimum them, whoop them like i don't have yeah. time for that you gotta chastise them and whoop them if you just hit them then that's just violence that's right so you gotta run tell run. them why you hit them before and after you have to do the motivational, like, you know, this is hurting me more than it's hurting you talk yeah. after. That's a cool part. Oh, yeah. The sandwich See, compliment. Okay, compliment, ridicule, sandwich. Uh, not sandwich. <laughs> compliment, ridicule, compliment. <laughs> beat, talk, <Exactly>. beat. <laughs> exactly. Hey, we made fun of Meg's paintings, and now she blurs her background. <laughs> <laughs> You gonna see? <laughs> Shut up, Pat. <laughs> Bang, turn your camera sideways. Turn your camera sideways so you can go full frame. You said what? Turn your camera sideways so you can go full frame. That's oh. better. Okay, there we go. Are uh, you trying to clean up a little bit, Patrick? You know? No, I just gotta close the the closet. I've seen too many horror movies where. Somebody was on a webcam and the closet opens and shit. But what if the closet starts opening? You now you're like, like it ain't nobody but his hairdresser. That's how she had to do his hair. She got to sneak up on her to get this nigga the hair locked and twist him up. Wow. But you thought I was gonna catch you? You thought I was gonna catch you, huh? All of this goddamn Pat, new growth. Like a bitch, All huh? of this not damn new growth. Hey, Pat, is your closet messy? Um. Yeah, I got like it's, a bunch of equipment and luggage in there and stuff. It's it's full of uh, booty shorts and sports bras. That's all he wear around. Right <laughs> Crop tops. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be muting my mic all episode. <laughs> yeah, I got so much little lemon in there. It's crazy. You didn't strike me as the neat closet type. Uh-uh. Girl, he lives in a messy bun. You think he gonna have anything neat? <laughs> I'm in an arcade right now. <laughs> this shit everywhere. <laughs> messy but not disgusting. That's how I that's how I say my uh my place is. It's messy but not disgusting. Meg, really you having people you. over? Not really. Who? Meg. Oh. No, no, no. We did something yesterday. Y'all be barbecuing? Yeah, we had a, a little barbecue yesterday, but it was supposed to rain, but now it's not going to rain, so that's kind of why we did it. But Are y'all the grown-up versions of y'all selves that y'all thought y'all would be? Like, are y'all having, like, the cookouts and the gatherings and the parties at your houses like you thought you would be when you were a kid? No. I never I wanted never... to do those things. <laughs> no. I knew I wasn't going to do that. <laughs> yeah, I to do that we had to clean up i knew i was, I was gonna, gonna do this <laughs> <laughs> this is the oh. grown version i thought i would be <laughs> i'm not even grown up yet i'm getting there i'm getting there i'm getting there i was gonna be a veterinarian so nah for real yeah i wanted to be a vet as a kid but she only you wanted to work with rock rock wallace rock wallace the pit bulls no, get it Pat got a coochie. 
That doesn't transfer. Come on, guys. Yeah, hey, man, it worked. worked. It worked, baby. It worked. It don't work. It did. <laughs> Got that good old Uno reverse on that ass. Oh, man. <laughs> Meg, are y'all popular in y'all neighborhood? <laughs> I mean, we're like one of the few blacks. So I would say yes. If I asked. Oh. But That's like, this thing? Part, there's like, so the white people, they'll invite us to their stuff here. But like, we went to someone's pool party around the corner. And their son was like, you know, a drunk 21 year old, like Chad, and was like, hey, he like came up to me and he was drunk. He's like, hey, what does your husband do? He, did he used to play for like the Patriots or something? And I was like, no. Damn. In, in his mind, like black people, like they got to be athletes. Not even the Falcons. They <laughs> right. <play>. Why the <laughs> Patriots? <laughs> You're in Atlanta. <laughs> I don't know. He was just like, yeah. He's like, I saw y'all's cars. Like, he played for he played for NFL, right? He played an NFL team, and then he like named the Patriots. I was like, no. And he's like, and basically, he's like, how it. did y'all get y'all money to live here? And I was just like, not answering nothing. You, you should be like, I'm on Squadcast. <laughs> <laughs> Heard I'm of it? Like, oh, we're drug dealers. But then I felt like they would have been like, oh my gosh, I knew it. Like I knew reform. it. Reform. You should have said reform. Yeah. Like we don't do small stuff. We did transport mainly. Yeah, you should have invented a whole lot. Mm -hmm. Oh, you could have you could have ran with that. Uh, niggas like that snitch. Like they would have believed every bit of it, and then it's just not good. So you I had was the like, police what? at your house when you got there. Right. Exactly. You should ask him what his parents do. Drunky? <laughs> <laughs> meth <laughs> meth labs. Did your parents invent mayonnaise? <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> nah, let us hear the cough, Meg. Don't need <laughs> Actually, I was about to tell y'all I can't come because I, I don't know what this mystery virus is that I have. My throat has been hurting for a week. Whoa. I went to the doctor. It's not COVID. It's not strep. I don't know what this is. Kids. That's why you got to stay out of white neighborhood parties, man. <laughs> mystery virus. Somebody put a little meth in your drink at that pool party. Uh -huh. That's what it is. It's your body rejecting the meth. If I can get a drink with meth is insanity. <laughs> like, damn. That is diabolical. Just roofie me. <laughs> if you're going to do it. It doesn't, it doesn't yeah. seem like a good investment. Like, no, just, no, I'm hooked. <laughs> Uh, that's well, shit, this is about as good a place as any for us to jump into the first topic of today. Yeah, want to give a shout out to the OG man. squad. We got Lulu Gonzalez, Max Crew, Patrick Cloud. I'm to hear more. Shout out to Courtney Haynes for joining us today. We're going to jump into this first topic right after this. This episode of Squadcast is sponsored by BetterHelp. Look, it can be easy to ignore our social batteries and spread ourselves thin, especially with social gatherings. So how do you recharge your social battery? I know for me, I normally start off right about at 70% when I get to the gathering. I get there and I'm like, all right, what's up, what's up? I could be ready to go <laughs> in about 30 minutes. And for me to recharge, I to go home, chill, relax, or take a nap or something like that. And then my batteries are recharged and go back outside again. And this is what I love about therapy. It can give you the self-awareness to build a social life that doesn't destroy your battery. I've been in therapy for years at this point, and it has gave me so many different skills to navigate through life. It's also helpful for learning positive coping skills and how to set boundaries. It empowers you to be the best version of yourself. And it isn't just for those who have experienced major trauma in their lives. One of my favorite things about BetterHelp, it's entirely online, designed to be convenient and flexible and suitable to your schedule. So if you're thinking about starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. Find your social sweet spot with BetterHelp. Visit betterhelp.com slash squad today to get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash squad, S Q U. ADD. First topic of the day we have, would you rather live in a house that ages with you versus one that constantly upgrades but drains your life? Damn. <laughs> Wait, what does ages with you mean? Like shit's falling apart as you're falling apart? Yeah, you kind of see the, the paint store deteriorating and, and things falling off. Bannister not as strong as it used but, to be. But what if I'm taking care of myself? I'm going to the gym eating green juices. Yeah, shit. absolutely. Like, yeah, I mean, it's going to do that, but it's still going to start to fade a little bit. No. Nah. You're going to start to see wrinkles where you didn't see wrinkles. The house might get a little bigger around the waistline. You know, those type of things. Wow, that's... <laughs> fucked up if you 
if you didn't realize you were Asian, but your house started to tell you you were getting fucked up, like you, right? <laughs> the stairs just collapsed on your ass, bitch. You can't step. <laughs> What's your your roof gray all of a sudden? Like, oh shit! <laughs> no. <laughs> Why are these black spots under this window like this? Why can't I get them away? You know what's going As on. As opposed to what's the other one? So, like, every time your your house upgrades, you, like, lose a couple years off your life or something? Uh, it just takes a lot out of you, yeah. So, you you don't know, maybe age a little bit faster, you know? What are these upgrades, though? So, like, you know, when it turns into a smart house and everything's controlled from your phone, you can, mm. you know, the lighting, the, the, a, the HVAC, the heating and cooling, all of that type of stuff, all controlled from your phone, all animated, uh, you know, the newest dishwasher, the newest refrigerator, all of that stuff. It does it automatically wake up. It's just like a, a house upgrade. We can't buy that stuff and put it in the shitty uh, house, though? Well, I could just you do can. dishes by hand. Like, I don't need a dishwasher if this is the Lulu, case. Lulu, 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 baby, baby, baby. When the last time you washed some dishes by hand? Yesterday. <laughs> no, I'm not talking about, like, one dish because the no, dishwasher was already loaded. Oh, dishes. Not... You got a scrub, daddy? I do got a scrub daddy. <laughs> I got the scrub daddy with the little wax joint, the one with the attachable joint. I got a whole bunch of scrub daddies. Listen. So you don't so you don't use your dishwasher. I do, saying. but okay, I have then. OCD. Okay. So I like to wash Wait, my dishes as as well as the dishwasher. I don't be trusting the machine. That's for true. The food. dishwasher don't be doing a lot, especially if yeah. there's like stuff on the plate. If you if you if I wash the dishwasher and take something out and there's still stuff on it, I'll be mortified. Yeah. So I'm yeah, doing a little extra work. Supposed to, like, you're just supposed to scrape the food off and put it in. That's disgusting to me. I have to like rinse it. Right. Like basically, I don't. There's nothing that's stuck on there. Exactly. To be honest, we damn near so don't need this dishwasher. How we talking? We just I, I clean it to the point where there's nothing really on it, and then I just kind of put it in there just for my mind. I think <laughs> that's what I'm saying. But I always start a wash anyway. I'm like, might as well. <laughs> Thing, man, because white people in the commercials, they be just putting everything on there. Spaghetti pots. Like, and they the always use that lasagna pan. Like, right, yeah, the lasagna pan. It's like, yeah. You see that oh. white people like have the dog lick it and then they put it in the dishwasher? That's yeah. crazy. <laughs> that's, that's an everyday happening, I feel. That's that is so I, we crazy. always try to, well, I try to remind everyone in the house to rinse their dish right after they finish eating or whatever they, they use. Because it makes it easier for the dishwasher, but like pots, pans, and uh, baking pans, we always do that by hand. We're not trusting that with the dishwasher. What's a baking pan? Baking. Oh, baking pan, not baking, baking oh, pan. I thought you said a baking pan. I was like, there's a pan. No, no, no. I use a baking rack for that. I use a rack. Bacon. I just put the rack on top of it. Here you got a pan just for baking, huh? And it That's has. What I, thought, I thought you got a baking pan. That's so what? Crazy. You know what? I like what I like, guys. Okay, get off my back. I never had like pants dedicated to certain foods. That's dedication to here. That's that's it's being a grown up, Lulu. Okay, uh, it's, it's being a grown up. I know in New York you guys have limited space, so you have to use the same plate that you put your Christmas tree and you chop up cocaine <laughs> and eat a burrito on. But your Christmas here, tree. We got a little more Christmas space. tree. <laughs> chop up cocaine. <laughs> Who chops up cocaine? I thought every Coke user chopped it up. <laughs> when they do this. You ever right. seen them like rappers on live? It, they be like doing like this. And but everybody's like. Lou, she capping. She knows she done hung out with some rappers that done done some cocaine that it brought out that glass plate or something like that and didn't listen. put that cocaine on that counter. Listen, glass plate man. is wild. Hey, right. Listen, I've seen a lot in my lifetime. I've seen I know you have. I've I know you have. Number what drugs have you seen being used? And you were like, oh, gasp. Oh. New York's rat snorting cheese. <laughs> snorting cheese? That's the old line, thing the past time. A line of cheddar. Look <laughs> <laughs> at this age white cheddar and this hey, Parmesan this sharp. together. <laughs> like, hey, don't go to Blind Barber to hear out here chopping up cheese and snorting that shit. You wild. <laughs> Oh, you, trying to, you trying to do a line of C, a line of cheddar? Like, <laughs> line of C. Line of C. That's crazy. That's wow. not my cheese it's. <laughs> you got a whole a whole line on a charcuterie board. Just like... <laughs> Damn. <laughs> you roll up a salami. Break <laughs> <laughs> out the charcuterie board. Let's get fucked up. <laughs> Just 
cocaine and salami. <laughs> God damn, are we eating any of this? <laughs> <laughs> Roll up an eighth of that salami. Oh, man. <laughs> oh that's funny. <laughs> that visual is crazy. Oh shit, man. Oh, man. <laughs> Pat, we missed you, man. I thought you were just pulling up on Saturday at the uh at the uh, the brunch. Oh yeah, I couldn't do it. I had this thing at a uh, two bit. Oh two okay, man, man, man. Yeah. How was it? It was good. It was a good time. A lot of new faces. It's 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 growing, man. It's growing. Wait, I your brunch will be on Saturdays? I thought it was on Tuesdays. No, nah, the parties be on Tuesdays. The brunch is on Saturdays from two to six. Is it every Saturday? Nah, it's every other Saturday. All right, so Ooh, when they, whenever yeah. you in town, Lou, when you ain't gallivanting and golfing and you know what I'm saying, shooting AKs out of helicopters and shit like that, whatever you whenever that you free. sound fun. I do want to do that. Ooh, you they do, do that do in, in Vegas. Vegas. They got it in Vegas. You could do that in Vegas. It's called gunship mm-hmm. helicopter. Yeah. It's like uh they they pick you up and they take you can choose how much ammo you have, what route you do, and they have um they have targets on the side of the mountain. And you, pop, 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 that shit is awesome. That sounds like so much fun. That crazy. I want to go do that. You have to. It's great. That sounds like real life. Vegas got a lot of shit. Vegas got a hotel you can rent out. Like the hotel is for rent. So like if you got a big thing going on, like you got if you had like five hundred Patreon members or five thousand, they wanted to come to Vegas and do a thing. You can have that whole hotel dedicated to yourself. No one else will be there except for Is that the signature? What? The signature hotel? Um, I got to look it up the name of it again, but I had did some research for it when we was first talking about doing something with the Scary Squad. Mm-hmm. Like if I did like a golf tournament in Vegas, right? And then I can get the whole hotel for all the people that's in the tournament. Yep. That's yep. fly. Or like a whole floor. Oh, that's fly. Mm-hmm. All right. Dope. <laughs> I want to see Vegas be lit. You just gotta find the right things to do with the right people. Yeah, right. I, I remember when I first started going to Vegas, it was just like all about the clubs. It was like eighty dollars for guys, women get in free, drinks to forty dollars. I'm like, I don't never want to come back to this motherfucker. But you get old, you start settling into you. I'm like, boy, I'm finna go see this blue man group. <laughs> Listen, the buffet. I went to, to see David Copperfield. Huh? Is that a magician? David Copper- oh, oh, he my got God. out of here. He out of here, bro. He finna go. Uh, what you mean? That motherfucker then brought up, got brought up on 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 uh, child abuse charges, and this ain't no the first way. time. This Damn. ain't the first time. So his residency probably finna be over. Well, he I'm made so one glad disappear. I saw when I did, the show was still magical. I guess he can make his disappear. <laughs> this nigga Pat wild as fuck. <laughs> and now for my career. <laughs> 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 they got discounts on Fountain Blue right now too on Priceline. You can go to Fountain Blue, stay for like one thirty a night. Well, I what? am going to Vegas in uh, July to go see Jodeci. Oh, I want to go to see that one. Ooh. Ooh. I already seen it. I went, I went in March. I went in March. How was it? It was so good. Ooh, and JoJo, you know JoJo, he got some problems. He didn't perform that night, but Casey carried the whole shit. You didn't even know JoJo was missing. That was nigga- Devonte there? Javante's fine ass were there and the niggas wearing fur. <laughs> yeah. Jo- wait, JoJo got more problems than KC? Because I thought KC was the one with the most problems. Well, he got the drug problems, but then JoJo has the al- alcohol abuse problems. Which is like- oh, shit. Damn. Oh. I hate that for Yeah, I know. I hate that for the people that, like, just, we grew up on all of that shit. Yeah. Ooh. Let's just say to here's a... Uh... To hear his explanation of David Copperfield's allegations were light, to say the least. Dang. I tried to be, I tried to be it's, very PG with it's it. Pretty, it's pretty bad. Tell it's me. really bad. Yeah. It's really bad. Damn. Mm, mm, mm. Made the Statue of Liberty disappear in his career right after. That's crazy. That's mm-hmm. crazy. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Damn, now I got to Google it for myself? Yeah, you should Google it. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to say that. Trust me, man, we would have to block out this whole segment. All man. types of flags going on. Just, just, Damn. Just Damn. Well, I, I didn't go see David Copperfield. You saw him before you found out. I was Look. never there. <laughs> Did he seem nervous at his show? Like, Man, he was so <laughs> cocky and confident. 
mad Botox, but he was still swollen. Like he mad was mad Botox, shit. man. And, but he moved like you know how Batman moved where he can't move his neck. Mm. Yeah, he be like, he'll do shit like that. Like, wow, see, look. But he still was they amazing. Care. He made man, they... he made a a UFO appear. Uh, what? In in the room, he made uh. Wow. He made oh. a car d- uh, appear on stage out of nowhere. Wait, was- how did he make a UFO appear in a closed arena? That's, he was, and then it was like, look up, nothing there. Close your eyes, open your eyes. There's a whole UFO. You're like, oh shit, what happened? <laughs> it, it didn't look like a hologram or something? Nah, it was coasting over our head. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know you could make the audience close your eyes and then just, <laughs> is that magic? <laughs> All right, close people, your eyes for seven minutes. People want to believe, Matt, that's the mystery with magic. Everyone wants to believe that it's possible. We all know it's, you know, mirrors and sleight of hand, all of that. But in our heart is a part, I feel like we all want to believe that this shit could happen for real. But that's and the that, thing. That, he was doing it with your eyes it, open. Some people have a deal with the devil and it it is real. He our, For the whole other show, our eyes was open. You're watching shit disappear right mm-hmm. in front of your face. Like he made a car come out on stage. I was like, "Oh, he a wizard." Why that gotta be the devil? Why can't you just have magical powers? Like He's making a car. He's but a making wizard. a car appeal isn't even satanic. <laughs> Look at how it was he a blue is car. Up you on know, child pornography charges or whatever. It's satanic. Uh, well, I mean that part, yeah. Well, yeah. What about the other magicians that ain't that that aren't engaging thing. in this yeah. heinous behavior, Meg? Some That's pen- off stage. I'm just saying it's not. I'm, I didn't say he was, but a lot of times I feel like it can be satanic. That's why people are like, no, it's just like they made it appear. They did some kind of mechanics. No, sometimes that stuff be real. Chris Angel be kind of tricking me sometimes. He, yeah. and he's he's, uh, he's, he's kind of scary too. He hey, is something. That I saw something. him in yeah. concert. I saw him like. First of all, Chris Angel wants to be a rock star. Okay, he has a he has a rock CD out. He has a band, all of that type of stuff. Also, hella philanthropic. I didn't philanthropic. Meg, what don't even it? just just say like he's good big into philanthropy. <laughs> <laughs> good job. He helps a lot of disabled kids. Um, I I forgot uh what his focus is on, but um, but when he was when I saw him, he was like trying to dance. He was like. Like dancing, uh, hell no! Nah. It was it was it was a good show though. I will say that he he put on a good show, but you could tell that he's been doing it for a while because it kind of felt like he was just going through the set list. It wasn't really like I don't. He's know. just like <sighs> rabbit. Yeah. <laughs> <I> just, <laughs> before he levitated on the street, like oh yeah, that's scary. He's yeah, that fella. Oh that's yeah, he, he got a devil. I don't fool with him. What's the guy that um? I think he's in. I don't know what he is. He did the the one in um, David Blaine. Harrison Ford's, De- David Blaine when he did it in the Harrison Ford's house, he and he said, pulled that cord out of that orange. Out. And Harrison Ford was like, "Get the fuck out of my house!" <laughs> pulled it out of an orange. Uh, yeah, yeah, the orange was in Harrison Ford's house already, and um, he, he 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 grabbed the orange. He gave it to Harrison Ford to cut. He cut it around and he split it right in half. And then he p- opened it up. He's like, you see that right there? And he pulled it out. He was like, look at that. He was like, get, get the fuck out of my house. I don't know if it was a card or a hundred dollars. Like it was a card. Mm-hmm. That's it's, just it's, spooky. It's the dopest trick I saw him do, well, one of the dopest tricks is when like, he takes the deck of cards, he lets somebody pick a card, and then he puts it back in the deck of cards, and then he throws the deck of cards at the window, and the card ends up on the other side of the window. That shit is pretty dope. I want to know. How you you, that ain't he ain't got to deal with the devil. Okay, he's all right, wizard. man. Come on, you gonna be the only Karen in in heaven. People, all the angels gonna be like, God what? damn, what? man. We don't uh, want to hear that. We already here. That's not what a Karen does. Okay, let's be very clear. You you are. We Karen. know what Karen you would do, and that you ain't be it. A Karen in in heaven. I feel like you would be telling on us, like, oh Jesus, they over there using their wings the wrong way. That'll be you. I feel like that would be you, absolutely. I'm not gonna be worried about nobody when I'm in heaven. Okay, you do whatever you want to do. I made it. I'm excited. I made it. Meg okay? said, the only time she's going to a magic show if it's in heaven. Okay, 
<laughs> only time. Thank you, Courtney. It's not the only time. If Jesus is doing the tricks, then it's good. It's safe. He will be so mad have to be the only magician in heaven. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like oh, he about to turn one on the wine at three o'clock. You going to be there? Like, girl, he doing that at six o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no time in heaven. Let's just go over there. He's just doing it. Just, we got to get up when we catch him. He's doing it. Yeah. He ain't, no Netflix, ain't no alarms. You just wake up when you wake up. That'd be, that, that would be punishment to get to heaven and still have to follow time constraints. I don't want right. to do that. Uh, I don't want no clocks, no watches, none of that type of stuff. Just be there by sundown. It's going to be a good time. Fuck. But I'm still giving a time. Be there by sundown. That ain't That's a, a good specific ass time. Sundown is for like an hour. You be all right. You catch either the whole thing or most of it. I feel like don't the sun never set there? <laughs> nah, it has to. It ain't Alaska. Yeah, what we supposed to sleep in the daytime? It gotta be a little something. <laughs> sleep. sleep is a physical concept. Oh, God. I mean, heaven ain't in the sun. It, we, we, it's still going. All right, man, let's put it to a vote, man. What y'all going with? The old dying house or upgraded house? Y'all doing oh, that shit. Was the question. Too far. Uh, this ain't not oh. made fun. Old dying, really. dying house, dying house. Old, old. Which is the old with the uh, the ages with you? The ages yeah, with you. Mm -hmm. yeah, I want that one. You okay. get surgery, and the house is better all of a sudden. You know? <laughs> Botox, roof is a, fixed. You get a BBL, and the garage is fixed up. <laughs> with a bigger backyard. <laughs> yeah, right. The backyard right, is huge. It don't match the house. Well. <laughs> We're gonna jump into this next topic. <laughs> now it just naturally expanded like that. <laughs> I worked on it. I worked on it. Be <laughs> in your kitchen. <laughs> all right we're gonna jump into this next topic right after this next topic of the day we have would you rather change your appearance at will but lose hours from your life versus change your appearance i'm saying never change your appearance and live twice as long oh no. yeah uh, wait what, what was the first part again change your appearance at will like anytime you want to, but it takes hours off your life. You never know how long it's going to take, how much time it's going to take off, but you know it's going to take an hour or two off your life. Or never change your appearance and live twice as long. Oh, that's easy for me. I'm going with the change it whenever I want. Because because if you think about it, if you live twice as long, like, yeah, you'll get to see a lot of cool stuff, but everybody, you know, will be dead mm -hmm. by the time you've lived like one full lifetime. But then you re up on your friends, you know. Get yeah, get yeah but I'm not really good at making friends. So who, like, who wants ooh. to be friends with a hundred and fifty year old? Everybody. But you look good. But you still but look good. Do you good, still though. look good? And you still look good. So like, if, so if you let's say your normal twenty five would be your fifty in that life, mm -hmm. you would look like you're twenty five and fifty in that life. Oh, but you still get old and like. You would still get older. You would just like live twice as long. So you you know, like if the average male live lives 73, 75 years old, you would live to 150. I don't no. know. The movie that I've seen where the people live a long time, where they're vampires, whatever, that's always the main thing that they say that it's just like the people you love are gone. And now Fuck you just all that. I don't want to be I don't want to be thick twice as long. I don't want to be out of shape. Twice as long as I normally would be. I'm I'm changing that wheel. I'm eating what the fuck I want, and right before I go on vacation, boom, bitch, let's go. We here. Eight pack. That's crazy. You have 140 years to work out. You still not gonna do it? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, <laughs> nigga. You know how many new foods and snacks are gonna come out in that 140 years? Wow. You're not gonna be disciplined that long. Fuck out of here, Pat. Stop asking hey. asking nine questions. <laughs> I, I feel like you could see the people you die live in this life. What'd you say? <laughs> Here, I said not to hear staying alive just for snacks. Like, this is <laughs> the new snacks. Exactly, Courtney. <laughs> it's been around for over 100 years. Like, listen, listen, you ain't saying nothing just, about family, friends. You ain't just heard what Meg said. said. Love. Like what Meg said. Everybody I know is going to die in Paris. I have to have something to look forward to. New snacks, nigga. Wow. New snack Sunday. That's gonna be my show for hundred years. Everyone could die within the life you have now, though. <laughs> That's why I take advantage of the snacks when I'm out, brother. You just have to see the younger people in your life die. <laughs> like, damn, I remember when he was bored. 
now I'm 110. Like that's the that's the only thing that's different. But you get to see so much more. You get to see the uh, year 3000. I don't, I, don't, I don't need that. I don't I don't need that, brother. All I want to do is is, you know is you drop the weight when I go on vacation. The year 3000. Huh? You know you want to see what snacks come out in the year 3000. <laughs> snacks that jump in your mouth. What? <laughs> <laughs> They're just dancing like the movie popcorn and shit. <laughs> yeah. Let's go to the concession. Let's go to the concession. <laughs> nah, man. Anytime you film and you could just drop weight. Anytime you go on vacation, photo shoot, anything like That's that. That's what we got Ozempic for now. <laughs> that shit, listen, this is how I knew I had an addiction or a problem with food. I, I took one of those things. That shit did not work for me. You took Ozempic? I took something. It did not work for me. <laughs> what? That's called cocaine. cocaine. <laughs> that is <nothing>. yeah. <laughs> that was crazy. Even if it was, it still didn't work. So, you know, fuck the hype. That was Olympic. That was not Ozempic. <laughs> <laughs> they you know, they got Olympic about that? <laughs> I saw what they wanted me to do. I was like, oh, no, I can't do Olympic, baby. I can't do it. This is just working out. This is. Yeah. Is Ozempic a shot or a pill? It's a shot. It's a shot. Watch the new South injection. Park. Uh, oh, uh, what is it? Oh my the god! I hear, they cook, I hear they cook Lizzo. Oh, oh my! No, they god. didn't cook her. I felt like it was a. Uh, uh, it was actually kind of positive. Yeah, right? it was. It was basically saying like you don't care what. What people say about your your size and your weight? And they had it's some like, undertones. Oh, no, that's not what they were saying. I, I got the opposite. I got the thank you, Courtney. I got the complete opposite. And I was like, you don't give a fuck. Like you, like you look in the mirror. I just don't give a fuck. Like right. I, like, that's, yeah. Poor people. Poor people get Lizzo. Rich people get Ozempic. <laughs> <laughs> Because they, they did her dirty. They had her with a big ass dress in the fitting room, and she's like, "Thanks to Lizzo, I don't, I don't care what I look like." <laughs> it says, it says something about listen to Lizzo or something. Yeah, your ears like explode or bleed or something. Yeah, like you, shit you, came shit out of his ear. Out of your ear. That was it positive? <laughs> I was like, like where did y'all see what's positive? I was like, right. Right. You start listening to Lizzo and shit comes out of your ears. That's crazy. What about oh, that? a waiting room? I thought Those I thought that was like this, this that shit. I Around thought that meant like this that shit. This that no. Shit. no. Oh, it, was it an episode or a special, like a movie? I they do episode. like these uh long episodes. It's kind of like an hour, right? Yeah. Like a like a like a regular episode, but it's all it on Hulu Plus. I oh, saw I saw when she saw it on the Instagram. She was watching it. It was a live reaction, and that's what I'm saying. Oh, well, of course, she's going to try to spin it and make it positive. That's exactly what the cartoon said she does. <laughs> nah, she was mad. She was upset. She was like, this is my worst fear come true. No, she's like, she was like, you got to be popping to have this cartoon that's been on for 20-something years. That's true. Talk shit about you or mention you and all that. So she took it like that. I mean, she spent it obviously. I was just trying to be positive because I feel like Lizzo gets so much shit. I don't, I don't, I don't get it either. Like I would hang with Lizzo. She like she a good ass time. Just be on mean. her eating snacks with her. Stop it to hear. Like we have <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah, all. Yeah, right. You'd hang with her. <laughs> you, you, you want to go to sex shows like that's all you want to do with Lizzo. eat some bananas out of some pussy that's all you want to do with shut Lizzo. up Sh shut up lulu just shut up and pat you shut up too you be holding up purses and the snacks just like me hey i i like lizzo I meg will be the only one trying to bring in some seaweed snacks like oh here goes some seaweed chips I'm like, I get out of here with that amazing seaweed seaweed is good plus one Meg. All the things I want to say. All the things you want to say. Shut up, Lou. Just, <laughs> just, just shut up. No, I still, I did Ozempic for like four months, and then I realized it only works while you're on it because the real issue is when you're like overweight, you didn't get there just by eating. It's a psychological thing, right? That makes you eat bad stuff, whether it's sugar, overeat, whatever. And Ozempic doesn't fix that part of it. Hmm. So you just gonna have to be on Ozempic for the rest of your life. <laughs> nah, yeah. I just need to lose 30 pounds real quick. Right. Well, you're gonna get it right back, is what I'm saying. No, I'm not. Nah. 
Just well, like, you live a healthy life, though, Lou. You could do that. Like, I don't think you need Ozempic. You, you're you healthy enough to where you could just lose the weight. Yeah, but Ozempic gets it done faster. Not necessarily it. faster. It's just, I'm saying it'll, like I said, it works while you're using it, but that means you're going to always have to use it if you don't have good habits. That's just like a diet then. It should work while you use it, and then exactly. you don't. I, that's my point. <laughs> Well, I plan on starting another diet, so I'll start that on Zipper too. Shit, fuck it. What'd you say, Corny? Everybody can't be buddy love, okay? Like, from Nutty Professor, like, everybody right. can't be buddy love. Like, all it is is just, oh, Zimpic is the juice that the professor, what was the professor? Nutty Professor? Nutty Professor? That's, that's all it is. Hey. That's all. Yep. Yeah. That's crazy. And you see how happy he was when he was wearing all that spandex. Yeah, all the bitches. <laughs> And you start digging it real quick, and that's what's gonna happen when you get off those that bitch. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know what? It'd be as long as I get a couple of months out of it. Fuck. It, you know. <laughs> that's all I need. For a little time. That's all I need. Just a couple months. Just I, I months. just want to get a couple fits off. I'm not gonna throw away all the clothes I got. I just want to get these couple of fits off I got from Fashion Nova. Get this shit pop and get a couple pictures for the gram. You know what I'm saying? And then I can go back to you know being me. That's crazy. That's all I need it for. You might as well just get lipo and Lulu. No, nah, that's intense and way expensive. Is no, it no. Ozempic intense? Nah. You see, Ozempic, nah. but Ozempic will the amount of time that you gotta take it to like keep and maintain that weight off. You might as well just get a little bit of lipo. Not How long it take to start working? It's different but, for everybody. Well, you're supposed to ramp up. So like the healthy, the correct way, because some people try to jump in. And they'll get real sick because your body got to get used to it. So, it to get to the full dosage takes you about like you're supposed. It takes you about three months oh, to nah, get to the full. Long, but, but again, some people they don't care. They ju just try to bypass that, and they'll be like, "I just go ahead and be sick for two, three weeks. I'll take it." <laughs> like, okay, three months is like the, the amount of time that working out would would help you. <laughs> I, just, I could go do that just working out now. I'm, because I'm the whole point, y'all you gotta remember that the whole point of it is for people who are diabetic, who are like trying to lower their their right. A1C. So to in order to do that, it takes a little bit. It takes a few months to ramp up, and then you're at a higher dose, and then you start. You know, you're not hungry anymore. Helps you to lose weight. So now that you're getting to a more healthy level, where your your diabetic numbers have come down, but like. I'm just man, you're, absol her. you're absolutely right, man. But you just take all the fun out of everything, bro. Like, I'm not. I'm just, I used it. I'm, that's you're how just it works, a though. Fun sucker, bro. Like you just <laughs> not cool, bro. That's like that's why I'm niggas on the bike. I used it. I'm trying to tell y'all. No, we get it. We get it. We just don't care. We don't like when you do that. Just stop. Be when I tell you to shut up to here, you could just go get lipo, okay? If you want to get your guns that are on their lower back. To move to your side so they look like that was hippies. unnecessary. That was unnecessary. You <laughs> didn't have rifles to now. You didn't have to. You didn't have to. <laughs> the whole didn't have to Pat, fuck you, bro. Uh, <laughs> you can get them down to a shotgun and then get them back down to pistols. Me? <laughs> 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 All right, let's put it to a vote so we can. I'm tired of y'all, bro. Y'all on one today. What was the question? House change your appearance at will, oh. but lose hours from your life versus never change your appearance. And live twice as long. Wait, hold on. And then you could like snap your fingers, and it's like a whole different hairdo, like that yep. too. Yep. Oh Every yeah, day. first one. If you yeah. do that enough, y'all gonna die in two years. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna take all the hours off. <laughs> they gonna get lazy too. They gonna just, they gonna be doing. They gonna be giving up hours just for eyebrows. They just like I want these. I want these brows. Yeah, I do. Me too. And y'all don't know what year y'all gonna die, so you you just gambling with time that you don't know. I mean, that's well, what we that, isn't now, that man? everyday living? Isn't that your life every day? We don't know when we die. No, I don't we do things that now, just man. take hours off my life. No, she's saying isn't that every day that we're living that we don't know when we're gonna die? She wasn't saying you right, and you're shortening that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Whatever that number is, you're shortening. Pat, so you not you not gonna get an ass if you could do that. You not gonna. <laughs> get an ass. <laughs> And you start doing your own promo for the cloud. Sure. You not you telling me? <laughs> Nobody's hold available. On, hold, on, hold, on, hold on, wait, hold on, everybody. Pat, you telling me? <laughs> it's like nobody's <laughs> ever gonna know. You ain't trying to be the models canceled? <laughs> no, I got us. 
You're like, oh, I need to post this today. <laughs> Who snaps? You want a fat ass. That was one cheek each. <laughs> had, to, had to change the camera on thick threads to make sure his waist was showing. <laughs> wow. You I don't even do have to stuff. face to nothing. You can shape your BBL just how you like. Yeah. I wouldn't do that stuff. Man, a messy bun with a fat ass? That nigga, that, that gonna be unstoppable Ooh. out here. <laughs> it's just a silhouette. This is my, my dream. I pick live double as long. Uh, That's what I pick. That's my vote. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. All right, well, what's your, what rest of y'all pick? First one. Change appearance at will. Boop. Twice as long. Y'all going to die. Change appearance at will. I'm doing the same thing y'all doing, man. I be doing those little, um, you know, those little breath things that, that, like, hold your breath for this long. I just did one for the military, and I be like, as long as I can do that every three, six months, I'm going to be all right. I ain't even worried about nothing else. Huh? You passed? Out, he passed out. <laughs> <laughs> he woke up the next day, like, oh, what happened? <laughs> hold on, I got one right here. Y'all want to see if y'all can do it? Yeah, let's do it. Do it. Right, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Although I'm a little sick right now, so let's see if I can. Oh, shut up, man. Uh, Nobody disclaimers. cares. All right, here we go. Let's gonna do the countdown first. Here we go. What are we supposed to do? Just hold our breath? Yeah. Oh, shit, shit. My bad. I'm going to take it back to the inhale part right there. I'm trying to get it real quick. Boom. Inhale. People listening to this on the podcast app is not enjoying this episode. <laughs> oh, why are you holding your breath like that? Why are you doing duck lips? Right. Oh, me? That wasn't too bad. Yeah, I, you gone. Was like, I just exhale smoothly. I didn't do it like no. a it was a smooth exhale. Don't be, like this. <laughs> Don't be mad because you failed. You in the military and you failed. This is who protected I did. us. This is who protected us. Oh, that's why I did it like 10 seconds. That's why we lose. Meg, Meg just shot it out fast, fast. <laughs> Loud ass. Trying to make everybody else lose. Because I really was thinking about like somebody listening to this on a podcast and was like, this is boring. Change. Uh, well, no, if they were listening, they would hold their breath, too. Right. They wanted to know if they were healthy. <laughs> yeah, man. I feel like watching it was bad, because I feel like the anticipation was made it worse. So once I started looking away, it wasn't that hard. Yes. Yeah, I, I didn't know. I had just watched a video on um, this guy played a clip, and you really couldn't understand it. It sounded like it was being played in reverse, and then he played what it was going to sound like when they played it the right way. And then when he played it again in reverse, you like heard what he was saying. So the whole video was on like how um, expectation helps your understanding. And so I watched that video first. And then like two minutes later, I came across that. And I was like, what if these motherfuckers got this dot here? And that's not even where I exhale. It's at the other dot. And I was like, oh, this is a trick. So I just held my breath the first time till it got all the way back at the front. What? So it was it was a circle, right? And it had next, three dots. Next, swipe left. <laughs> swipe left. I didn't understand Stop. you to understand it, Lulu. Swipe it's left. It's not a gun or a pair of Timberlands. You don't like it. Swipe Moving left. Moving on to the last topic of the day. We'll be right back. <laughs> last topic of the day. We have, <clears throat> would you rather change one event in your life but forget everything that follows versus know the future but can't do anything about it so would you rather change something that happened 
two, three years ago, but everything after you change it, you forget, right? Because that changes everything. That changes everything that follows there. Versus know your future, but can't do anything about it. So you're saying like create a new timeline or yeah. just... So uh, you'll lose all those memories. If you met friends within that time, you might not meet them. All of that, you're going to lose memory of all of that versus know your future and not be able to alter it. So can yeah. I talk about it though? Like is altering it, like you can't even talk about it. Like what's going to happen? You could talk about it, but like if nobody else is able to do that, they're like, oh, she's crazy. She but if you know your future, future, you can subconsciously change your future by knowing your future. You can't. Not with this one. So wait, is it like, is it just my future or like I know everybody's future? You know your future. All you see is your future. I feel like... Well, wait, that, that actually sounds cool to me. Mm. Okay. If it's then good. I, then I if it's know good. I, I, if I know my future, then I know like, okay, Megan, well, that's your expiration date and time. Do all this stuff before then, but that's the thing. In doing that, you're changing your future. No, he's saying he's saying like whatever, whatever it is that I see in my future, I can't change that thing per se. It's gonna happen. But death that I see, or if it's like, oh, I buy a house, or I lose my house on this day, like that. No, no matter what I do, it's yeah, still gonna happen. But knowing those things is changing the future. No, he's just Have saying y'all not watch Back to the Future. It's this girl movie. What, like no, if that's your best, if that's your destiny to marry somebody who is gonna kill you. Like it doesn't matter if you're like, well, I'm never marrying somebody. I'm never marrying somebody. It's gonna happen at some point. You're gonna meet somebody married. on a random night. You gonna wake, wake up married? Like, Yo, let's do something crazy. Let's just let's get married tonight. We'll annul it tomorrow. I would never Whatever. do that. If I knew marrying somebody gonna kill me, I would never do it. I would never say, hey, on the But it whim. still happens. It still but, happens. Yeah, how does it still happen if okay. I know it's gonna happen? No, here's what I'm saying, Lula. What what to hear is referring to is like, okay, if that's the situation, like you wake up or you come home one day, your house has been robbed, all your documents are gone. Next thing you know, you show up in the register registry as married to somebody, somebody took your documents, falsified. Now you like whatever well, it's like it is, final the destination. Is... I can exactly. never escape it. Yes, exactly. you can't escape it. Oh no, that sucks. But if it's awesome, like if you're if you're just like set for life, you're like, oh my god, I'm a billionaire. You could literally just do nothing. <laughs> you could yeah. just like chill all day and then be like, oh, I got a wire transfer for a billion dollars. You know, and that's what I'm on. Like, because if I know I'm gonna end up happily married, that means I can just hope for the next like ten years. You know what I'm saying? No. <laughs> <laughs> Give happily me that. hoeing. I mean, I can all these niggas and it'll be a wife. Come on now. <laughs> <laughs> but then that would be the path to happiness. Exactly. <laughs> the whole path to happiness. <laughs> but you have to go on the whole path to find him to get the mm -hmm. happiness. Mm hmm. That's that was always an option. <laughs> Look at y'all being, being picky for nothing. You should have been sending that monkey out. <laughs> <laughs> Sent that monkey out? <laughs> All right, down there, guys. <laughs> Go down there. <laughs> Bring back some niggas. <laughs> Oh man, that's crazy. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna see the future because if it's, if it sucks, I'll just have fun until that happens, and if it's dope, I'll just do what I want until it's that. Yeah. Like, what if it's like you were, you saw an accident where you were in the car with like your family, and then they died, and you didn't, but like now you're a paraplegic. I'd be so sad because it's like I can't tell them. But like, why, why would that be the part they show you though? <laughs> Nobody you don't know what you're gonna see, so you don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing, right? You just know it's gonna happen, and you can't prevent it. They probably just show you being a paraplegic, like this is, you know, this is what happens. You're like, damn, how's that happen? I don't think they really make you live the tragedy, right? They're just showing you the future, or they can show you that moment. You don't know what they're gonna show you. You don't they know what they're gonna show you. The paraplegic, and you don't have no family because they died in the same crash you was in. <laughs> that I'm selling all my shoes like you know what I'm saying beforehand I'm selling all my shoes <laughs> nah you still gotta have shoes they be clean as fuck though you still right. gotta you still gotta keep no, them clean and have shoes on pairs of shoes you only need like two pairs of shoes 
Courtney's no, still going to be out. Why I, I would you be the same two shoes? Even if Girl, that's Courtney's future, need, she's just, still going to be out. Shoes. Some day shoes, some night shoes. You're not getting them dirty. Nah, I'm going to have on some red bottoms. I'm going to have some Jordans. I'm going to have Yeezy. But you won't be able to see the bottoms. Like, Lulu, you have to prop your foot up like this to see the red bottoms. That's fine. Prove the red bottom. No, I could be <laughs> propped in any position <laughs> and stay. I'm going to be fly as shit. My leg going to be crossed just like this for the whole In the wheelchair, evening. just riding with the leg crossed. Right it <laughs> what? Is it? Is paraplegic that does that mean both legs or both legs and arms? Paraplegic think, isn't that both legs and arms? Is it, it's the whole body. Uh, it's the whole body. The head. Oh damn! No, I think there's different levels, y'all. Somebody look it up. I'm on my phone, so I can't do it. Oh. I think there's different level. I think it's just the umbrella, but there's different levels of paraplegicism. Oh yeah, like nah, you gotta stay fresh, man. You can't let that shit make you not fresh. You got more reason to be fresh. Everybody gonna see your clothes because you in a wheelchair, so you're gonna have mad eyes on you. Oh, it's the lower half. You know what I'm saying? So you stay, you gotta stay fresh. Mm. Right. If you're gonna stare, you might as well gaze upon some greatness. <laughs> but I mean, I what if the future's good though? We always we we say all this wild, horrible shit. What if it's dope? Pat, what if dope? The was that you had like four kids? That would be horrible for Pat. Look, <laughs> Pat is a single dad. That would be that would be crazy. I would definitely, damn. Yeah. But what if I just stopped having sex and I just became? What if you found and then you found out how? that it was somebody that you, it was four people from your past? It still can happen. It still can happen. Oh, yeah, oh, they shit. might pop up on you like yeah. Somebody went to you went went to sleep. And wait until you went to sleep, grab grab that, that sex butter from you, and they just been holding on to it. I flush mine now. After that. <laughs> after I heard what happens. <laughs> I flush it all. Unless there's like a sewer lady who like is in the sewer. She's she she like, I'm going to go join a convent. And guess what? This is your child. Take care of it. Damn. That was up. That yeah, be... that she gonna be connected to God, and you could get get connected to your son. Ha ha! I got kids. <laughs> I got kids. <laughs> oh, whoa! I see. I think I feel like we would see the life in Pat's eyes just dim if he found out he was a dad of four. I think. I was oh my god! Just in locks, just like. <laughs> oh my god! You know how much hair product you gonna need? Uh Oh my god! No, cause he not gonna do that hair. He don't do his hair. <laughs> There's gonna be shells and high buns everywhere. Everybody here is a hot mess. Yes. <laughs> in a shell, guys. It's like you have to buy to and Pat. You already got a kid house, so. No, I'd be an amazing dad. I'm a great. I'm a great uncle, but I mean, I just don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> that shit does not look fun at all. <laughs> Wait and see. You're a father of four with four different moms. Oof. Nah. I think Ooh. I think the the wizard would show me in a in a in a fly ass mansion with bills, billions of dollars. And I'd be like, oh dope. That's what I thought was gonna happen. And then I'll just keep <laughs> and I'll just keep living. <laughs> just marching through life. Why are you walking like a sim though? Way more confident. <laughs> I'll just dap up the wizard like knew it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, let's put it to a vote, guys. Uh, future. My future, baby. What was the other option? Um, other option was change something, change something in your life, but then you forget everything that happens after. Future. Wait, do you get to say how it changes? What do you mean? Like, oh, that didn't work out with that dude, but now it did. Like, I'm going to make it like, oh, yeah. That's a good question. You like, talking about for the past one or the future one? You yeah, talking about the past one. You can go back and change one thing, anything you want. And change it how you want it to be. 
change it how you want it to be or try something different. Uh, not necessarily, not guaranteeing it's going to work for the entirety that you wanted it to, but you can go back and change one thing. Uh, no, nah, I'm still keeping, I'm doing future. Show me future. my future. Yeah, I'm going to do future. Future. Courtney? Sensational. <laughs> future. Pat? Sensational. Future. Future. There it is. The future has it on that one, man. Uh, thank you guys at home for watching another episode of Squadcast versus shout out to the OG Squad, Patrick Cloud, Lulu Gonzalez, Max Scoop. I'm to hear more. And shout out to our special guest, Courtney Haynes. We'll see y'all next week on another episode of Squadcast versus. Peace, guys. Bye, guys.